This is how we're going to start. We're going to talk about your club, actually. Enzo Moresco is closing mm. in on becoming Chelsea's next manager. But yeah. is he... The, no, I'm linking into a piece of audio. OK, this sorry, I thought you were talking to me, mate. Because no, well, when, when you, I go up at the end of sentence, it's like, cue audio. It's like that. What, right? What cue, so come, it's not a question to you, it's to uh, them. And to Alex, the I best don't want to get this, mate. No, I don't you? Are. Hopefully Alex is... Enzo Moresco is closing in on becoming the next Chelsea manager. Is he really, but, I mean, I... I, I, I no, I'm queuing. I've got one more sentence and then they play the little and then I'll get your view on it. Right, Al, come in early, mate, so I don't make this one up again, right? But yeah. is he the right man? I don't know, mate. I'll press have to play, wait press play quickly. Chelsea, for the first time under the Bowley era, felt like we were making some progress the last five or six games of the season. It finishes Chelsea 2, Bournemouth 1, five wins in a row, ends the season on a high for the Blues who secure European football for next season. I'm going to stay a few days more in London. Oh, it's open and my phone is going to be on. Mauricio Pochettino has left Chelsea by mutual consent. I think he wanted to go, bearing in mind the press conferences that he's given and some of the things he's said. I don't think he's unhappy going and I think they're quite happy with him going as well. And then we've got these faceless sporting directors, Win Stanley and Stewart, or is it Coco the Clown and Charlie Caroli? I mean, oh, yeah. backside covering, blame shifting, sucking up to the boss, all of that. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Chelsea fans, you can have your say on that. Underwhelmed, maybe. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Jay, you're a Chelsea mm-hmm. man. You're an ex Chelsea player. Mm-hmm. Chelsea's your club. You live. Breathe and eat, Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your view on it? Are you underwhelmed? I think I, I, I am stunned at. I mean, your club's a basket case mm-hmm. of a club at the best of times. Yes. I do find it very bizarre. They've got rid of Pochettino. They've gone for Enzo Maresca. Well, getting rid of Poch was not the biggest surprise in the world. It may have felt from the outside, but from the inside, it wasn't the biggest surprise. What happened was because results went well and performances were well, were, were, were good. We finished uh, sixth Six. in the end. It didn't seem at the beginning of the year that that was anything that we could even get close to. But because, you know, United stumbled, Newcastle stumbled, even Spurs. I mean, you think about their end of the season, how poor that was. We managed to get closer to them. And it's only because other teams stumbled. We got our act together um, a little bit too late, unfortunately. The, the, the truth is, I would have I would have kept Podge, right? And that's based on a number of things. One, because it felt like the things were... We were never... But there were games when we were truly terrible this season. Truly terrible. But there are also games this season where the results didn't go our way. And unless you watch the game, you, you could be forgiven for saying, oh, Chelsea are garbage. We created so many chances, couldn't put them away. And it felt like towards the end of the season, things clicked. Create chances, scored goals. You know, we, you know, we beat Everton 6-0. You know, we put four past your mob. We were scoring goals, but we were always creating them. It felt like things just slowly but surely fell into place. A little too late. The question is, did it paper over the cracks? I think a lot of Chelsea fans, a lot of people out on the outside will say, maybe it did, because at the beginning of April, we were 16 points behind Spurs. We ended up three points behind them. Why? Were we that good? Yeah, we were good. Were the Spurs that bad? Yeah, they were. So then the gap narrowed. And we ended up being five points behind Aston Villa, but that's a slight... It, it, it's distorted slightly because Aston Villa had their flip-flops on playing against Crystal Palace but you never know if Chelsea had beaten Burnley when we had they were down 10 men beaten Sheffield United when we two went up with 10 minutes ago but that's all in the past now but knowing what I know it wasn't a surprise I don't Potch wasn't disappointed to go from what I know okay. he, but, he, but all of this for my money mm. is down to the fact that your American owner Todd Bowley doesn't understand English football doesn't well, understand well, he's not the owner it's Ed Barley okay, he's, but he's made, he, I, I imagine no decision gets made without his no Ed sign-off. Barley makes all the decisions so, 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 so Bowley's got no Ed, control he, he's a minority Ed, Bar- Ed Barley is the one that okay, makes well, the well, him big then. calls him. he's the one him he's then. the one yeah him. He's the one. I, I think they're making mistakes. They're, they're, treat, they're looking at this sport like it's any other sport they've been involved with. And as we all know, football is not like any other sport. Well, he's not making all the decisions, you see. So, so here's how it works. There's Win Stanley and Stewart. That's, so there's a... It's been set up, and we're going to talk about this at, at length. We'll how talk about it now. How, how, so I've, I, we are now starting to see, not starting to see, but Chelsea are doing... They're, doing, they're structuring the football club in, in a slightly different way to its well, in fact a totally different way it's been done before it's all about the boardroom the boardroom now so it's it's, it's when stanley and stewart and they're making decisions on on uh, on the back of um from what i understand it barley's how he wants the club to be run so his vision and it's going to be run that the vision of the of the the board is the most stable place at the club they make the decisions they've been in there a couple of years now coming up for a couple of years 
and they buy the players. Well, they certainly have a huge say in where the, the players, scouting network and all that, the way the club is run. They bring the players in and they will sell the players. And I, my understanding, again, and I don't know this, it's only from the outside looking in, trying to understand how the club is run, because you never really truly know. But the way my understanding is, is that they will sell players, as and when they feel, and the manager is not the manager, he's the head coach. And he's there to coach the players and pick the team, not manage, as in manage the club. Mm. It's a different structure to what it to what it has been in the past. A lot of clubs are going that way, um, and that's the way it's done. It's a big and, risk. Well, of course, it's a risk. Everything everything's a a, a risk. You know. We, I know, but bear in mind, your club were kings of Europe three years ago. Yeah, and, and now you 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 just about got six in the yeah, Premier League. In name only, are we the same club? Because it's a totally different structure. It's totally it's run complete. Roman ran the club. He ran it to. First and foremost, he just ploughed his money into it. It wasn't a, it wasn't I'll tell you a business. What, let's go talk on, about this on, in more detail on, in a moment, because I, I want to hear what you're, what you're going to say. I don't want to rush you, OK? okay? Right. So we'll hear Jason's understanding of where Chelsea are at the moment and how it was compared to how it is now. Mm-hmm. I also want to hear from you, the Chelsea fan, about Enzo Moresco. It looks like he's going to become your new manager. Your views on him. If you're a footballer, yeah. irrelevant of your age, are you yeah. still a boy? Like if Pirlo's no, playing at 42, no, Giggs is no, playing I don't at 40. Know, but Lallana, feel, he's, he's got a little boyish good looks, hasn't he, yeah. Lallana, still? The boy Lallana. I mean, when you're my age, you can still say, and yours. The boy, way. yeah. All right. the boy. Uh, over the weekend, Plymouth confirmed Wayne Rooney will become their new manager. I was looking at Wayne Rooney at the weekend. I thought, is your head bigger than his? I don't think he is. Like Wazzers. Think, I don't know. He's got a massive he, head now, hasn't he? Yeah, but he had, a, he had a collar and a tie on, didn't he? Yeah. And I think that makes your head look bigger. Yeah, he looks like a bulldog. He's always looked like a bulldog. Yeah. He's always been, even when he broke on the scene, he was like a man boy. Yeah. Wasn't he? He was a man boy or a boy man? Boy man? But I don't know what you mean. But he was a boy man then. No, he's no. a. Yeah. No, he's a. He's a yeah. man man now. A man man. Uh, we are talking about Enzo Moresco. Looks like he's going to be the next Chelsea manager. 0371722334. I've asked Chelsea fans to phone up and have their say. Well, then, first up, it's a Spurs fan. Goes by the name of Adam. Hello, Adam. All right, Ed. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, Goldstein? How you doing, Cundy? All right, Ed. Happy, happy bank honest. holiday day to you. Happy bank holiday to you. I, uh, Cundy, I'd, I'd actually say you've got a brilliant shaped head, um, to be quite honest. He hasn't, so. though. He hasn't got a brilliant shaped head. Brilliant. I mean, I, I, brilliant I would say there's not a crash what? helmet big enough to fit on it, brilliant. is my... Br- <laughs> hold on, let me write that down. Brilliant shaped head. He hasn't. He yeah, hasn't. Yeah. It's well shaped. So there's a reason, Adam, that Talk Sport isn't 3D on YouTube. I mean, I mean, uh, Cundy, you can have a, ro- a Roblox character yourself, my friend. <laughs> he doesn't even know what that means, is that, Adam. Is that, it sounds like a compliment. <laughs> yeah, massive one. Is oh, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Is it? Yeah. Is it a compliment? Yeah. If you my want boy to... plays Roblox. I'll ask him if it's yeah. a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Adam. If you want a blockhead. Block. Go on, Adam. What do you want to say? You're a Spurs fan. Uh, I want to say um, Chelsea have done uh, the wrong thing in uh, sort of letting uh, Pochettino go. The way that they've been ending the season, the way that they, he's got them playing, uh, has been very, very good. And I think actually Pochettino's a much better manager now than he was four or five years ago when he was at Tottenham Hotspur. He's got the experience uh, uh, at PSG uh, managing big players. We all know what he can do with a uh, with a young and youthful squad. We see what he's done with Cole Palmer, Noni Madueke towards the end of the season. Uh, and the way that he's got the playing has been, I'd say, in the second half of the season, it's been uh, close to um, uh, very, very good, um, considering how they were looking at the start of the season. Uh, and now, the way that they're going, I, I, can, I can see Chelsea going very, very downhill in terms of fighting relegation in five or six years' time. Um, the decisions from the top down, Todd Bowley going from sacking Tuchel to sacking Potter, and now letting letting go of Pochettino, that guy is just running the club like it's football manager. I don't think he has a clue uh, in what he's doing at all. Okay, Adam, thanks for your call. Let's quickly go to a Chelsea fan get his views. Mark's up next. Hi, Mark. Marky Mark. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Great show as always. Thanks, Mark. Off I've you just, go. I've just, got, I've just got a couple of very simple points. One that will pr- please you, Andy. Uh, first, first of all. Um, uh, Maresca knows they were impressed how, how well Maresca knew our, our squad uh, yeah we played him two months ago and Poch schooled him in the FA Cup they, these people lost their minds they've lost their minds it was Leicester you're playing 
We played Leicester, yeah. Two yeah, months I mean, ago. We, we scored him. I mean, Maresca wasn't yeah, at Man City scored. when you scored yeah. him. Yeah, okay. 4 2. No, 4 2. Yeah, but it no, was at Leicester. Leicester. Scored two. Yes, in the FA Cup. Anyway, so just take that as, as a given because it's true. Right. Then, then the, the genius here, though, is Pep Guardiola. I mean, you've got to, he's the evil genius. You've got to hand it to him, you know. These people that were his assistants or played for him or made the sandwiches or whatever, he puts a word in Bayern, Arsenal, Chelsea, <laughs> and, they, and they hire them. People that he knows he can beat with one hand behind his back. But the killer here is if Potch goes to your club, Andy, Potch goes to your club, Gallagher and Chalabar follow, and whose club, whose boyhood love is Manchester United? And who adores Pochettino? Cole Palmer. You just remember where you heard it first. I said, it? I said that last no, week, Mark. Okay. Sorry? I said that last week. It's, I said, well, you, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. I don't, I, I don't thanks for your call, Mark. I, I don't think, I mean, we're going to find out the future of Eric Ten Hag. We'll talk about it from five. Yep. I'd like to think, there were reports today circulating saying he's gone. That's mm-hmm. nonsense. Um, I'd like to think we're going to stick with Eric Ten Hag. We'll talk about him a bit later mm-hmm. on. Um, what, if, if it is Maresca? What's mm-hmm. this season? Because you're starting again, effectively. Yep. What's the aim for Chelsea this season? If, if it is four. a new top, top four. four, always the same. It has to be top four right now. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, challenge. I what, mean, would you rather stick with Potter or get Maresca? Right. From what I knew five weeks ago, going into the last couple of games of the mm. season, going into the last game, I'd have stuck with Potch. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.